Check us out, bro. David Dobrik stops vlogging. <laughs> I start vlogging. <laughs> no, no YouTuber can move merch. I relaunch mine. <laughs> Call of Daddy's no longer a podcast. Impulsive stays number one. I don't know, bro. This game is chess, not checkers. <laughs> <laughs> Did Ariana Grande delete her Instagram? What? I don't know. I'm trying. I, you know, one of the topics I want to talk about today is uh, Takashi sixty nine versus Ariana Grande, and so I'm looking up Ariana Grande on Instagram, and for some reason she's not popping up, guys. I got it right here. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, this one? No, hold on. Okay. I got her. Wait, okay. So why, why when I look her up, is she not? There's no, bro. There's no way. Hold on. There's no way. All right, I'm on my profile right now. I'm gonna go ahead and type in here. Ariana Grande, and she's not popping up. <gasps> How could this be possible, dude? I'd give her a, like, put it in the URL. Like, I, or Instagram.com. I, who, Ariana Buttcra? That's what pops up. Ariana <laughs> Buttcra. Watch this. All right, check this out. This is the worst part. Ariana uh, Grande. Close. I, it's hard to type. It's not Garcia. Grande <laughs> Instagram. Ariana Grande Instagram. Oh my god. Bro, bro. Oh. That's a block. What she you, blocked That's you. a block. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, what? Come on. G- guys, you welcome back blocked. to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. <laughs> Holy shit. There's no way Ariana Grande blocked they mocked me on Instagram. You got blocked. There's no fucking way. Why? What did you do to her? <laughs> Nothing. She likes me, so she, so she blocked me. Oh. Ah. She likes you so much that she was like, I can't even look at her anymore. <laughs> that's what, that's what actually. I've never met her. No, no, bro, bro. Way back in the day. Let me jog your memory, huh? Let's reminisce for a second. She retweeted a vine that I made singing her song. And then she she said some nice things. And uh, it's sad to see that our relationship has gone to shit, I guess. It was good. Me and Ariana had a good thing going. And now we're, just, I guess, no longer friends. Holy shit. This kid, hey, come on. I'm being punked by someone, right? Or Why would she block me? <laughs> I don't know. Did you do anything in specific no, to her? No. She it, she might be one of the celebs who maybe, uh, like, a year, a couple years ago, maybe just had it. And she's like, I can't bear this young man, man any longer. I don't, but I don't know. This seems weird. This seems weird. Anyways, we're here on the show. Since I looked at her page, I don't. Wait, no. I don't know. Should I try DMing her and see if she responds? That's so I'll weird. I'll just call her. I've been talking to her recently. Surely there's an explanation. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But yeah, welcome back to Paul's No More Podcast in the World. Got a lot to talk about today. Today's a big episode. Mike, uh, Mike coined it the the beef episode. It's the beef mm. episode. There's a lot of lot of sizzling, <clears throat> carnivore style beef on the grill today. Absolutely, mm. shit is hot. Should we Should we just start off with Ariana and? Uh, Ariana Takashi sixty nine right away seems like a right you had the right segue Te- for De- it yeah. sure Te- so, so Takashi accused he accused Billboard of uh, faking their their chart he says he says you could buy songs to boost your song yep right yep, yep. okay and so he's saying something with Ariana's song stuck with you Ariana and Justin Bieber's song stuck with you. Uh, there were 60,000 song copies sold in an, in an hour that were bought by six credit cards. In the 11th hour, right before the, the sales were released to Billboard mm. to, to state it. All right. mm. And he's been talking about it for the past week. He's been talking about how Billboard is corrupt and they favor artists and put out this put out this statement that that Scooter Braun and uh, uh, Justin and Ariana bought these these last minute albums to drive them to number one. Yep. And now... And he kept harping on it. He kept harping on it. And now today, it looks like Ariana, Justin, and Scooter all fired back from their accounts and said, listen, it doesn't work like that. If you use a credit card, you can only buy four copies of the album before the rest of them are disqualified from counting towards your billboard. I do ha- I do wonder where uh, Tekashi69 got this information. Where, like wh- He was showing stats on his, uh, on his Instagram video profile page and... I, I'm not sure. He, maybe he's the most reliable source for any sort of information ever. You know I, what I'm saying? Because of his past and but if he's his the hair snitch, he's the snitch. He's probably got inside information on things. Oh, because oh, snitches bond with snitches. <clears throat> yeah. So they're all just snitching on each other. Mm-hmm. My my thoughts there's on a, there's a rat at, at Billboard. Yeah, I'm sure there is. 
A hundred employee credit Listen, cards, you say? And now, and now, <clears throat> just us or Scooter Braun went one step further today and has accused the head gooba himself, <laughs> six nine, of buying through bots, buying uh -huh. YouTube views on his gooba music video. I, I love this strategy. What's uh -huh. going on here? Sco Listen. You're going to fire off at Scooter Braun. This dude's the fucking mastermind yep, of yep. all this shit. Yep. He's the fucking man, dude. So you better you better get your little rainbow colored moronic ducks in a row before you fire off at Scooter, dude. Well, you know what they say, Mike? You point one finger and there's some fingers that point back at you in, in some way. That's what they say. And uh, <laughs> it's, 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 that, it's a classic strategy. If your back's ever against the wall, you have someone like accuse you of some shit or you don't want to admit to lying or whatever it is. Just accuse them of the same thing. Huh. It's it's a it's a classic smoke bomb strategy. Oh, you you know that strategy pretty fucking well, don't you? <laughs> what, what what? That little shrimp argument we got in that night, <laughs> and you turned that shit around real. You lawyered up. You love that uh, strategy. You love that strategy. No, because mine was still rooted in truth. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> All I'm saying is this: truth or non-truth. Six nine is the Donald Trump of the rap game. Yeah, yeah. He gets info from weird sources. <laughs> His pundits, the people that support him, don't give a fuck where he gets the info from. He's always right. He says what he says. He trolls the big dogs, and it pushes them up, pushes them up. That's imagine crazy. a day. Imagine thinking that a year ago or two years ago, there was going to be a day where anybody would give a single solitary fuck what this rainbow colored man <laughs> has to say about anything. He is the living version of a smurf Yo, he's a smurf yeah, reincarnated and and now he's talking about the kings of the business he fired off at snoop dog yeah and snoop dog ain't the two dude fire <laughs> off at he said listen here little bitch you're not gonna talk to me like that bro yeah. go, go somewhere else and play your games every time he posts something i look at the comments under the pictures there's no players in there. There's no big dogs, no shot callers in those no, comments. No. It's a bunch of 12-year-old kids and a bunch of clout hounds that are like, how could I ride this wave of... What a stupid. terrible it, way it to is be this, It's so dumb, dude. All of it. I gotta say, though, the man is entertaining. The internet... And social media has gotten thoroughly more enjoyable to watch when Takashi69 <laughs> posts. Yeah, I, bro, I mean, I bro... He's a he's I don't know if there's a, a more eccentric living cartoon character than him. He's got rainbow hair. He's got he's got 69 <laughs> tattooed on his face and all this over his body. This is not real life, guys. All over. He's easily he's easily the best rapper wearing a shower cap to watch on the internet these days. Like that video of him wearing a purple shower cap as he explained the the billboard drama. Yeah. Is it's incredible. I mean, how much of this billboard stuff is political, though? Do we know? Th well, that's what he's saying. He's saying it's all political. Yeah. It's literally everything he's is you political. Can buy the spots. Yeah. So I mean, you know, you put on a shower cap look, and look at and this guy. I think that's look at this guy. guy. We'll do right. Okay. How does he? Um, uh, just logistics. How does he change his hair color every day? Because the other day, half of it was white. Is it, Danny? Do you know? I oh, it's a wig. A wig? Yeah, it's probably like uh, one of those lace front wigs. He, so he's he's a fraud. You don't say. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, my, my question to you, Mike, is this, because I saw that video of Snoop Dogg. He, he's, yeah, he's like, you know, you're coming for the wrong guy. Yeah, for sure. I'm not the dude. And, yeah. and 69 is trolled Snoop Dogg. Said he snitched. Yeah. He was watching a video of Suge Knight saying Snoop Dogg Snoop snitched, snitched yeah. and 69 commented like, uh, this, I miss home movies the most. What are the repercussions? Like when Snoop Dogg says, I'm not the guy, like, don't play with me, don't fuck with me. Does that, does that hold weight? I mean, the, the, the new age rap people, the people that the 12 year olds that support six, nine and 15 year olds, whatever, they don't know this probably because they haven't done the research, but Snoop has been on trial for murder before Snoop Dogg has been on trial for murder, homicide before this dude is not a fuck. This dude ain't a dude that pretended to be a part of a clique to get. He's the real fucking deal, bro. Is Snoop still involved with that stuff, though? He's a family no, man. No, he's got no, a nice so that's house. what I'm saying. No, so, right. I, so when you right. say don't fuck with me, like we all know. And Snoop knows he probably got a little too much to lose to even to even attempt to hurt Six Nine in some roundabout way. So that's what I'm saying. Like you can threaten people as much as you want over the internet. Mm -hmm. and I, I saw this when I was growing up. I saw Fifty Cent trolling Floyd Mayweather, oh. saying he can't read a Harry Potter book. Oh my god, I remember. That. <laughs> and, I, I, and in my mind, I, you know, I was in like seventh grade. I was like, "Well, it's Floyd Mayweather. He's the baddest guy on the planet. He's gonna beat up Fifty Cent." But it just doesn't happen in real life. Yeah. There's no actual action. So I guess I'm wondering, like, 
Uh, again, we could, we could talk about six nine as much as we want, but it's only helping this dude. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, he's a master. He's a master marketer. Literally, and I, literally and I, a brilliant I, marketer. It's I insane it. that he's able to get into a controversy every single day. Well, all the all the blog sites and all the video sites that are talking about being a being a, a, a pur- purveyor of the culture, mm-hmm. they're not helping because they're reporting on it. my favorite in, my favorite influencer Instagram page, the Bread Batch. TBT. I watch it every day. I like to make sure I'm up to date on all my influencer news. It's a six nine who's, fan page. Whose yeah, hair did James Charles do? Yeah. Did uh, did uh, Addison Ray do a TikTok dance? I try to make sure I get all my important news from the Bread Batch. Yeah, yeah. Now it's a six nine fan page. Yeah. Every post, mm. all day long, it's just post after post about this rainbow covered squid. And you know, what? listen. <laughs> here's all I want to say about it. You can you can like the marketing. You could like the tactics. He's he's obviously doing views on views on views, and people are watching. But I said it the other day, and I'll say it again: the culture will never fuck with this guy. And and to and to people in today's day and age, that's un, unimportant. They don't care. They're like whatever. Those views. Fuck you. Stay mad. Big mad. He mad. You mad. Stay yeah, mad. Yeah, you mad. But somebody that grew up on Jay, Big Nas, J Cole, Fifty, the real people in the sport, none of those dudes fuck. Like they're. It's just a. Fugazi little situation on the side. He'll never be respected by the culture. And like I said, some people, that doesn't matter to some people. To me, who cares about the iconic rap game and, and the most important thing being the respect of the culture, I care about it. But whatever. Teach their own. He's I think, right I, think he, I think you hit the mark, Mark. Uh, while I'm on this just TMZ page, I see, see now I see Ariana Grande's profile. And just for peace of mind, I'm going to go ahead and click on view profile just to see if indeed I am blocked by Ariana Grande. It looks like I still am. So... We'll go ahead and move on to the next uh, next topic before I uh, cry on the set of impulsive. Can here. we make it right? How can we make it right? Ariana, a hey, um, I bought stuck with you four times because that's the limit, as you said, <laughs> on each credit card. Uh, so so please unblock me. Like I'll, I'll, hopefully we can be amicable. Um, <laughs> How is that pot? Are you? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, this is not I'm a stunt not, for the show. Yeah. I, he I literally is blocked by Ariana Grande. But surely there's uh surely there's an explanation, right? We have to find uh, out. Uh, this what? might be like as fun as doing the flat Earth documentary. Oh, we're finding out why Ariana like Grande blocked full me. Full investigation. That's a good idea. <laughs> have That's, to a good idea wow. That's a good idea. But yo, I'm telling you, there's a, there's something else going on, right? Like she maybe. I, I, no, she blocked me. All right. Uh, next up. <laughs> I went shooting at Terran Tactical. This isn't beef. We'll get back to the beef, but this is a funny story. I went shooting at Terran Tactical. You've seen Terran Tactical. It's that uh, backdrop with targets that every celebrity influencer uh, athlete has gone to when they shoot and they move up. They and they look, look like spies. It's really cool. They get good videos. They post it. And Terran is actually an amazing shot. That, that dude has a fucking eye. I went there the other day, uh, purchased some firearms. Legally, of course. Terran's going to deck them out. It's going to be cool. And there was a there was a dude named Brian Callen there. Uh, Brian Callen and I have been like sort of crossing circles for some time now because he's friends with Joe Rogan, Chris D'Elia, Brendan Schaub, who's a good friend of mine we had on the podcast. And I'm a I'm a fan of his comedy and and his his friends and everything he does. So finally, like, nice to meet you, bro. It's super cool. And he's like, you too, man. How's how's life? I'm trying to survive and thrive out here. He's like, great. So he goes up and he it's his turn to do the run on Terran Tactical. So he puts his gun up. He does his run. And at the end of his run, Terran goes, Terran, Terran goes, wait, wait, wait. Brian's like, what's good? He's like, you hit a bird. I got to go check on it. Oh, and and I, I had just arrived. So I, and I've never been down Terran's range. I, I want to be respectful in front of Brian. Cause again, like I hate showing up and being like the YouTuber <laughs> and like pulling out my camera and just being that annoying fucking guy. And so the girls, there was a couple of girls there. They start freaking out. Right. I look down range. Sure enough, there's a fucking little bird fluttering around on the ground. Oh, no. I, I don't know what it is about me witnessing uh, uh, flocked creatures specifically get just f- demolished. It's like two in the past month. So what happened? The bird came across the, the I don't know. It must have maybe posted up in the bushes or whatever. So the birds fluttering around. Brian's like, shit, I got to go put it out of his misery, which by the way you do if, if the animal's struggling. And so the girl's like, one of the girls is like, you can't do that. He's an animal. And I'm like, uh, yeah, but that's exactly the problem. He's a living creature, and if he's in pain, we should end it. So Brian goes over there. He's on a holstering his gun. Now I'm sitting back, and I have a I have a split decision to make: whether or not I'm going to help this creature, or like and get involved in some way. How, like how so? Shoot the comedian. So he's not like, what, 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 don't what, kill that bird. What do put down your weapon? Don't no, you no, dare. just like people, people. T- There's a lot of people who don't understand. This is going to sound weird. The body language of birds. Guess True. who fucking does? Me. 
I have had a bird for eight years collectively total now. I know how they how they react. I know what they're thinking. I, I am a bird. And you have one on your shirt. Be a maverick. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, shit, I'm going to get involved. So I, I go running down range. Brian's unholstering his gun. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I look at this bird. I make eye contact with it. I'm looking at him like this. I'm staring at it. And I'm like, guys, just like the owl we, that we hit, that hit us. I go, I don't think this this, this bird is, is dying. I think it may be like her or maybe you winged it or something. Sure enough, the bird looks at me like this. He goes, and I look at it like this. I'm like, takes off. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Flaps God. his wings, take off. Bro. I give him a little nod of approval. I was like, you got this little guy. Takes off. And Brian's like, whoa. And I go, can you imagine if you just killed that little bird? <laughs> oh it was completely healthy, completely fine. What did that Karen say? The Karen that was yelling up, don't you don't care that bird. No, it, was, it wasn't a Karen. She was just a girl. Like, bro, uh, you know how... Yeah. A hurt animal in front of a girl. It's like one of the most undesirable circumstances. Bro, right? hurt an animal in front of me, I'll, I'll turn into a Karen, bro. I get it. I totally get it. But thank God you were able to to triage the situation. Yeah, yeah. By doing nothing. I do yeah, by, exactly. By exactly. No. Nah, but uh, yeah, it was, just, it was just funny because my first time meeting Brian Callen, that happened. You saved the day, though. I try. You know, and I, yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of uh, people spreading their wings and and specifically birds. And also, <laughs> people. And that's is where this a segue? I, yeah, it, it is, is, that it is a, a segue. Y'all know we're dropping the uh, the new Maverick clothes this Friday. It's 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 a massive week for us. We've spent a year and a half rebranding and trying to find the right voice and messaging and imaging and uh, imagery for this brand. And it need, it's important because when people put the, put the clothes on, they need to feel a certain way. It needs to empower people. That's that's I honestly believe what I'm here to do on this planet is empower people and motivate and inspire. And at this particular moment in time, I tend to do through to do so through storytelling and comedy. But um, it's really really big. We're really excited for that. What I haven't mentioned yet, and I got to speak a little uh, lightly here because we haven't quite nailed the messaging. But we're also doing a uh, VIP, a premium, like an exclusive club. I don't know the name of it yet, but it is going to be like, uh, consider it my ver version of an OnlyFans. So you can get tasteful nudes. <laughs> there, there'll be tasteful. That's uh, not true. <laughs> See the behind the scenes of that birthday shoot. Someone's going to think that's true. You're not going to get nudes. It's, 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 it's my version of an OnlyFans in the sense of you get to become a more intimate intimate part of our life. If you if you love us, if you're a fan of us, and you really fuck with us and you want to get involved more, this is it. This is the club. It's a subscription service. We're going to be doing giveaways. We're going to be doing, doing uh, monetary stuff. We're going to be doing exclusive content. That's a big That's one. That's the biggest Because there's a lot of stuff that we, surprise, surprise, cannot post on YouTube <laughs> uh, just because we aren't allowed. And this site is gonna allow us to post and say and do whatever we want so it's unreleased gonna, uncut yeah and and yeah. and uh there's gonna be discounts on the clothes that we drop you automatically get a discount if you're in this club and maybe one of the coolest things as well is you get access to a limited edition set of clothing which i'm wearing now i'll, I'll turn around here but yes sir basically just the crowd goes wild Extra high quality garments for for people who uh, you know want to grow and live in this family with us because we love you guys and we also love the idea of bringing a select group of people in with us. So we're going to be doing flying people out for dinner, shit like that, monthly FaceTimes, Face all the shit. Again, I'm going to figure out the perks and messaging, but um, just a little planting the seed because guess what? You plant them seeds, you grow red where redwoods from them seeds. Nice job. I know those are awesome. The uh, they're bro, awesome. Bro. They're so nice. They're so. <sighs> Like they're cool, but also keep you warm. They they feel nice. I've been I've been saying it's Beautiful. like it's hard to explain the quality, but when people start like feeling them, like these will go toe to toe with your Balenciaga. Like they're they're that good. The quality, the workmanship of them are that great. Premium shit. Premium shit. Oh, and when he says giveaways, not stickers, not stickers, not like beach chairs. Oh no, the first thing we're giving away is my, my car, my Challenger. My $60,000 2014 Dodge Challenger. Yeah, I'm giving away. No, I don't think I told you guys this What's yet. What's the deal yeah. with that? Yeah, it's, it's, I know, it's the going. Car we all drive, the car we all drive. <laughs> I don't know. We walk and everywhere. And then we're going to go up to a Wraith from there, probably. Like, yeah. We got oh, some yeah. big plans. Oh, yeah. we'll be, why, why is everyone looking right now? What's my, going on? I, I've, I've said this before. I, the only reason, dude, I love, I love giving back. The only reason I have kept it light because uh, you guys may not know this is not much of an income stream right now. Like I make some, some people, people really, really inflate the amount of money they think I make. And I, I promise on God, once I start making millions of dollars again, I will be giving back millions of dollars more so than any influencer. Not brand, broke. not spot. <laughs> what'd you say? He ain't broke. He ain't broke. <laughs> not sponsored by a brand. Me, us, team Maverick. 
Sponsored by Maverick Clothing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I, 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 I love the idea of giving back. We just got to get the revenue stream going and then I will go like that. So we interrupt this fantastic programming to bring you a sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by my bookie. We just found out they have a casino. We're actually playing blackjack live. They have bl- live blackjack. This is happening. I actually, I'm very surprised. So Emily Willis is the dealer. Somehow, they they, they convinced Emily Willis to, to become the dealer here. And Mike is playing. Mike, you gonna, what are you gonna do? I don't know. What do you want me to do? Uh, hit hit hit. Okay. Strong. Oh, it's a seven. It's a, you got seven. You hit. Showing a seven. Come this on, is this is on. actually this awesome. Is 17. <laughs> All right, 17 we're going to stay. We're going to stay. We're going to stay. This is actually awesome. Live blackjack. It's very easy. Uh, we put some money in our account. We're playing right now. And uh, I guess the live live dealers make you feel a little less lonely. I can't hear her. You're in quarantine. I, I, that's, I probably, that's probably intentional. I like to hear her. Blackjack's actually my personal oh, favorite. Oh, that's a break. Uh, she got a break coming. Big face. 16. Woo! Nice. We won. Wow. I can't believe Winning it. Winning big Amazing. money. Looks like we're getting Chick-fil-A tonight, boys. Woo! You're impulsive. <laughs> this is real money though, Mike. So you did just win five bucks. So maybe up the stakes a little bit. We're going, Mike, we're going donate, 10 this you time. You should donate all your winnings, Mike. No, I'm donating all everything. I'm donating everything. <laughs> you guys can play on your phone, your laptop, computer, whatever you prefer. Your laptop, computer. They got a ton of blackjack tournaments. A lot of them are free to sign up to. You can win big without even paying an entry fee. Let's see what we got here. Mike got oh, a king. Strong. God. Strong. Give me a picture. Give me a picture. She got a nine. Let's see. Picture. Come on, base. Are you 17. 17. Strong? It's strong, though. No, it's the it guys. Guess what? It's not strong. It's not as strong as you she's think. Showing right? She's showing it the, yeah, right. I know what that means, Jeff. You know what she's got under there? A Q. A queen. A queen. That'd I've been be, that'd through be this tricky. before, dude. What did you do? You stayed, right? Yeah, I'm going to stay. Okay, we so probably should have gone. We could have got aggressive. My bookie's great for making sports bets, but uh, I did not know they have casino stuff that goes this deep. This is awesome. So there's also a lot of great games to play. If you like, if you like any other sort of card game, poker. Has the drink lady come by recently? Because I'd like to get a coffee. Ooh, they do do virtual drinks. Do you say doo-doo? I'm not sure if that's true, to be honest. <laughs> Like a pina colada. But I wouldn't be surprised. What if you ordered a, ver- a drink on here and it came via Amazon and they primed or it to you because of a. Uh oh, uh oh. Chef Katie. Wow, Is she Mike. Kidding me? She had a 20. All right, guys, Chick fil A's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, go big on the next one. You're in the hole. What, 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 how the much last money one? do I have? 25. Bro. 20. How much money oh, no, do you have? 48 bucks in there. Yeah, do, do 25. Do 25. You should tell your fans that, that you can go buy a card that tells you how to play blackjack correct, where it's the best odds and you can have it. Just oh. Say that. Why yeah, not? we're all yeah, in. Or, or, or my bookies insufficient are just funds practicing not. with smaller fu- uh, hands until you're ready to play with the big boys. Oh, okay. An eight. All right, this is a big hand. Mike bet forty bucks. I want another eight. Oh, is that a five up she got? Oh, this lady. Why oh, you got eighteen, crying, Mike? Bro. Way strong. Look at that double down op at the five, end. But I know Somebody that got the end better double double. That, that five scares me. N- nah, don't scare I me. I don't know why, bro, but something about like the live dealer is it's making great. this real exciting. She's gonna. She's. Gonna, I think to call her daddy girls should be the live, the live dealers. dealers. I agree. Oh Imagine Sophia oh, dealing, annoying. dude, instead of Emily Willis. It'd be amazing. <laughs> she can make back her money that she lost. <laughs> Okay. Dude, if this lady right. pulls a six under, I'm throwing this microphone through the window I, or through the TV. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, six under, microphone through television. Wow, they doubled and got a, a 17. So she flips over, like I said, the six, the, the microphone through the television. <laughs> I'm not I'm not fucking kidding, dude. Uh-oh, she's sweating. Right, let's see what we got. I'm scared. Big burn. 15. Big burn. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! All right. Let's go. Mikey. Now where are we going tonight? Casino on my bookie, tonight? guys. Back to the phenomenal episode that you were watching before this sponsor segment. Next up, more beef. What do we got? Should we do? Should we do KSI? I mean, no, I think we Who's should get that? into the. I think we should get into the much bigger and more important situation. Woo! Woo! The internet was <laughs> sizzling last night, like a grill at the sizzler. <laughs> people, people looking in, peering in. What is all this noise about? Dave Portnoy, El Presidente, El Presidente. Barstool mm. Sports finally speaks. Daddy, the call daddy, daddy spoke. Situation. Daddy spoke. And it is a fucking ugly one. Yep. It's an ugly situation. Basically, how how we want to do this here? I'm, let's, read, let's read the headline. There. Call her daddy podcast hosts have turned, turned on, on each other. other. Call her daddy. One of the biggest podcasts in the world. Yep. If not, if not the biggest, they're always top three on the charts. We had Sophia and Alex on this podcast. We love them. They're our friends. They're hilarious. I, I believe in them both thoroughly. And Mike comes to me yesterday and he says, there's some, there's some, there's some beef going on. So I actually don't know that much about it. So they, they got in an argument with each other first well, or something with a contractor. You do, you don't know, but you do know. We, we like 
I know. I tell you what I know. I know what I know. Okay. And I, we, and, we've, yeah. it, it's been pretty known news for a long time that the, the contract between Barstool and, and the Caller Daddy Girls was, let's call it lopsided in Barstool's favor. This, okay. Let me, let me chime in go here. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so much, so much in, in a, in a, in a way that made me um, viscerally gag when I okay, went. Okay. okay. Well, let me, let me, let's go back. So well, I'm not done yet. A visceral, okay, gag, look like a visceral gag is like this. When I found out what this was, I go, oh, but I have to see both sides because although the contract wasn't necessarily fair, when Barstool picked up Call Her Daddy, it was nothing. It was nothing. Call and that's Her the Daddy biggest, became that Call is Her the, Daddy because of Barstool. That is the biggest thing. So how much, so, but, but, but. Yeah, yes. every network, every TV station does same the same thing. It's the same model. J- Jake did it with Team Ten, and, and, and in, in the corporate world, TV, uh, traditional media, it, it works. But when you apply uh, a Jake type Team Ten model with it, and now you have like personalities getting getting involved, which is kind of interesting because there's a little bit of a parallel between what's happening between uh, Portnoy and the girls, and everything that happened with Jake and the falling out, and t- all Team Ten, and every. Uh, social media house in LA has experienced this phenomenon that we are about to describe. Yeah. I, listen, basically what happened here is Barstool, since day one, has owned the IP for this. It's been Barstool Intellectual Property, which for people who don't understand, it, it means Barstool owns the show and these girls are, and, and, and everything behind and everything that goes into it, these girls are simply, the way the contract was originally signed, are simply personalities or hosts of said show. And what happened was, I think... And I and I, I'll speak from my own you know personal experience with this kind of thing. When you go into this agreement and you have nothing, you have nobody, you have no fans, you're just a little person, and you see this massive entity like Barstool, you agree to what they're what they're giving you because you assume that you know I, my my guess is Alex and Sophia go in, they see this contract, and they're like, this is Barstool Sports. We're not going to do any better. They're going to give us a fair shake. We're not getting that much money, but but let's give it a shot. Maybe it blows us up. And what happens? The show takes off. Meteoric rise. They become the biggest show ever in six months. Mm -hmm. And now, just like with so many other people in Hollywood and so many other times that this has happened, they go back and they say, this contract isn't fair. It happens all the 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 time. time. Jeff's coming in. Manager Jeff's coming in. He's got opinions. He's got something to say. Is there a mic there? I'll share. So, so there. let me let let me just finish at what happened on the show last night. So basically, after the first year was up, Portnoy said basically that he's willing to renegotiate, which he's always been very good about. He's willing to renegotiate the contract with the two girls. Mm. And after a, a bunch of back and forth, he offers them. I think it was like five hundred thousand dollars each. Plus, they're going to own the IP. They are now going to own the show. It's, it's, it's massive. 50 That's 50. Massive. Now, this, now, for they have, they, So they have one more year to go, though. They right. have, to, they have another to 12 months. Their contract. But I liked, he kept alcohol. I and, like it. Right. So, he, so, so, so for anybody that doesn't know who Dave Portnoy is, this guy, let's just put it this way he doesn't need the fucking money. He doesn't need the fucking money. Okay. <laughs> but he does like the idea that the show is keeping the lights on at Barstool. It's uh, during the COVID. It's, it's, it's mm-hmm. bringing in money, it's paying employees, it's whatever. He likes that. Yeah. Okay. So he offers them 500K annual. Each and 50% each of the IP after their contract ends. Alexandra comes back and says, basically, okay, I like I like this idea. But according to last night's like last night's show, Sophia, who has this boyfriend, what's it what are they what's his name again? The Yoko Ono they podcast. The, they call him the suit, the suit or whatever. I want to say it's I want I want to say it's Matthew Rice. No, something Nelson. It's something else. He's a, I, he's I, a big dog, right? Big yeah. dog and yeah, like this dude, yeah, whatever, yeah. right? So so what they're saying is that he's basically leading her away from this deal and towards another platform, right? So she comes back and she says, I'm not taking that deal. So now they're split and neither of them can agree to go back uh. in at 50% of the IP. So Portnoy and Alex have this conversation and Sophia is not willing to come to the table. And Dave says, all right. Well, I'll do the show with just you yeah. because you do the majority of the editing, a majority of the heavy lifting, whatever, it. right? And no, and I will give you whatever amount of money it is. Plus, you'll get 75% of the IP and Barstool will retain 25%. Mm. And so Alex says, okay, I'm going to get three quarters now. This is great. Now, Sophia finds out that Alex uh. is getting 75% of the IP and Sophia says, 
wow, this is really happening. I'm about to get left in the dust here with just Peter Nelson left. But he also, he did say he offered her her own show. He, so he And he offered her own show on the side. Said if you're talent and you're good, then you'll be successful too. Right. And and basically she said, you'll talk to my lawyers is basically what happened, right? And lawyers aren't responding. And, and it's she... all, and now it's a whole mess. And so there's no agreement. It's, it's a fucking mess. It is a, it is a complete mess. Yeah. And I, it's ever since it, it, the show aired last night, and obviously we've been trying to follow it, you know, in the background, it just made me think about how we all approach new contracts and new ventures. When I was, a, when I was tiny and, and in a lot of ways I still am, I approach ventures with big dogs like, yo, they're giving me a chance. They're giving me, they're giving me, they're giving me. But in this digital a- age, you have to understand the possibility that your shit will blow the fuck up and you should approach every i said this today you should start approaching every contract with the possibility at least that this thing takes off and goes to the moon but he came to the table and said i'm going to renegotiate and give you guys a good deal like i respect yeah, that he did that's great. what happens that I happens in Portland Portland. shows too yo that dude's the executive uh, vp of hbo sports was i thought was Oh, According to this, oh, the, the participle so, they well, use is a present participle. It's is. Oh. <laughs> Peter Nelson is the executive vice president of HBO Sports. And so Dave put the mm. the, the podcast out on the Caller Daddy Loved channel, it. promoted it from the Caller Loved Daddy it. Instagram. Wow. Like, yo, this dude owns the IP. He's, he's actually got the, great. I actually don't have tell to say me. He's great. Don't tell. I'm a huge Portnoy fan. You know that I I'm watch every unboxing. I hate to say this. Is is not a present participle. I have to correct myself. Good job. What is it? I think it's an article. Continue the conversation. About <laughs> you can ask Bill Clinton. Did you, did you see what he also pulled off with the NFL and Goodell? You know the whole situation, oh, right? He, he, was the, thrown, uh, wait, he was thrown out of the NFL. He was thrown out of the <laughs> Super Bowl. He won the quarter million dollar raffle to <laughs> watch a game with him, right? He outbid everybody. <laughs> <this> motherfucker. <laughs> for $250,000. dollars and he's going to sit with the... Head of the NFL. Listen, Portnoy on the <laughs> East amazing. Portnoy it's on the amazing. East Coast, where you and I both come from, is a legend. He's great. The Boston area is a legend. <laughs> when I go to Nantucket during the summer, he's he's there. He's a legend on Nantucket. The dude is a animal in in so many ways. But it looks like, and from the sounds of it, this was a, a truthful piece last night. He gave these girls a fair shake, and you know, I mean, they're they're very they're very talented, and everybody knows that. But it, this is a mess. I'm really, I'm really interested in seeing how what do you this think plays out. Here's, here's what makes me the most upset about it: that it, it, I don't know what their friendship is like behind the scenes, but that sucks to lose a friendship over this fucking fickle bullshit. Does it help it to air all this stuff out? Uh, you know, like behind the scenes contracts and stuff. Does it help anyone, or does it just hurt both sides? Well, he gave Port, it all out. Port, he said, "I'm telling no, the I truth." No, I think that's what he's talking about. Port, yeah. You mean Port? No, I, I mean, does it hurt Dave? Tra- tra- transparency Dave? is your friend here with with anything contracts, mm-hmm. contractual transparency is your friend. That's what he said too. What do he say? He said, I'm, "I'm being truthful." Like yeah. people say, "Oh, you can't talk about this." No, he's like, "I'm telling the truth." Like Dave said on the show, I don't think that the deal was abnormally lopsided. Dave said on the show last night that in year one. Alex made upwards of five hundred thousand dollars, and and Sophia made around the same. Those are massive bonuses. Y- those are m- bonuses on downloads. What are you saying? The numbers are off. I, I have sources that have told me that the numbers are on. Do you know how much money they should be making? That, per- that's neither here nor there. Okay, okay. That's okay. You signed, a, you nor signed there. a contract. You when signed you a contract. And, hey, and hey, they hey, also hey, had. Hey, I'm just. Hey, yeah, God, we're just talking. I get it. We're talking. I get it. Oh no, I get it. You signed a contract. You got to honor that contract. But unfortunately, it's really unfortunate. I d- unfortunate, it is. But, it, but but hold on, he didn't. When suck. David when Dave signed it, he didn't know it was gonna do what it did either. He it just so happened to do it. Listen, I think that you talk to them, and I think that you and I, and I'm and I'm I'm guessing this. You put this seed in their mind. You sabotaged the Call Her Daddy <laughs> podcast in a way that drove more views to the Impulsive podcast. And I and and I want to be the first one to say this right now. That was incredible. That was an incredible move. I I love it. Check us out, bro. David Dobrik stops vlogging. (laughs) I start vlogging. (laughs) No no YouTuber can move merch. I relaunch mine. (laughs) Call Daddy's no longer a podcast. Impulsive stays number one. 
I don't know, bro. This game is chess, not checkers. This <laughs> <laughs> is fucking chess, not checkers, bro. <laughs> nah, but nice I, hope, I, mean, I hope they figure everything out, obviously. They're, they're good friends of ours, and I hate, I hate the fact that a friendship, a real-life friendship, because those girls love each other, may have been severed because of this. Would, would or could, final note from me, we've talked a lot about a female co-host. Hmm. Does a day come? Wow. Where we're sitting across from Alexandra Cooper, Sophia uh, uh, dates he- big head man. Yeah, person. it's yeah, it's the uh, it's my, it's my number one wish in the world. Could honestly, you, could you oh, yeah. imagine? Well, thanks, that. guys. Huh? Well, no, no, no. Uh, hold on, uh, hold on. Where am second. I going to uh, sit in the corner? No, that's Max's fault. He excluded himself because oh, no one yeah. said he wasn't going to be here. Yeah, that's you said he, sitting across from them. Huh? Where am I sitting? Across from us as well. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> There's two seats. <laughs> you, you see, that is a, what just happened. Yeah, was Life. a prime example of of pessimism. You, you assume we were going to remove you from the podcast? Yeah, absolutely. That's gotta, on you. I got to back on you for not, for, for not valuing yourself enough to think that we can c- continue to have you on. It's a full house, man. We only got four mics. Only one I'm not mic. here all the time. Jeff's not here all the time. Take Nor seat. is he blocking that camera all the time. <laughs> <laughs> was his shoulder just like halfway in? <laughs> um, all right. So what's good? Yeah. I got something else. Yep. Shout out, Alex. Shout out, Sophie. I hope that works out for sure. Also, shout out, Stool President. And po- of course, dude. Go. Yeah. He's going to unbox another $100 million. He made a million and a half today. Day trade. David Day Trader. What? A million and a <laughs> half. Was up big he crushed this it is today. So funny. Actually, that's so funny. We're talking about a cure and a possible um, vaccine for COVID. Have you heard of that? Who's Barstool Sports is doing the vaccine? No, that's why the market went up. <laughs> this whole quarantine, man, it, I, if we're all it's losing crazy. our minds. Everyone's starting to question everything. It just, I've, we're, everyone's seeing aliens. There's not a single person I don't know who hasn't shook hands with an alien. We've all done it. Some, something's going on. I don't know what it is, but I will get to the bottom of it. Me, you YouTuber, left hand or right hand when you shook the aliens hand? Right hand. Oh, cool. You want a double cheeseburger coming hot off the grill? Another piece of beef that's slid on the skittle. Here it is. It's on, on, the, on the griddle today. Here we go. Jake Paul and KSI. Let's go. It just keeps going today. We can't get past all this murderous Monday beef. Yeah, it's strong. So KSI been chirping. I I have kept this dude's name out of my mouth for the past year because I knew, again, we've said it so many times this episode, chestnut checkers. I knew if I kept his name out of my mouth, he'd slowly start to fall back into the ugly, dark, deep pit of irrelevancy. Boy, was I right. And it shows in his views. Both on his music videos and then the views in his second channel. There was a time where he was he was making fun of me for barely being able to cross two million views. And he can barely do it at this moment in time. And I can understand and empathize that this whole YouTube wave is crests and troughs. That's it goes it, yeah. it life, goes ups life. and downs. So at this particular moment in time, while I make these comments, there will be a time where my views are down and KSIs are up. Nice. This is life. Yes. This is how it goes. But I noticed that the day. That I passed KSI and subscribers on his main channel. Boy starts running his mouth. And I know him well enough now when I know something's coming from a place of bitterness and envy rather than uh, a trolling or hatred or marketing, whatever it is. And he said something on a, a live stream about me being a pussy and Jake dodging the fight or whatever it is. And now Jake's chirping, right, to get him to sign yeah. the contract. Is that what's happening? So yeah, I have a- Jay, So Jake wanted him to set, sign the contract. KSI said, there is no contract. Jake showed a contract. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it was, but he showed a, a booklet of Probably papers. Probably similar to the contract look, that look, we look, had I, KSI look, sign when we look, went I to Vegas. Oh, ouch. Yeah, well, Jake pulls music better than yours. So, uh, no, no, you're not yeah. No, 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 no. You don't believe that. You don't believe that. Does anyone does anyone know the context of this? So, so someone on maybe like Omegle or something told KSI that Jake, Jake's music is better than him, which also I find funny. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm, it's like, uh, fuck, Jake, I love you. But like comparing KSI's music to Jake's music is like uh, <laughs> looking at two like pebbles on the ground and being like, oh, they look similar. <laughs> oh, ouch. Yeah, well, Jake pulls music better than yours. So, uh, uh, yeah. No, yeah. No, nah, 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 nah. You don't believe that. You don't believe them. <laughs> so, so, so then Jake calls him a lyrical genius because, by the way, so, some would say this is uh, the song of a generation. How much wood can a woodchuck chuck if the woodchuck look like you, bitch? I'm gonna have fun with the nigga here, done you, the woodchuck, woodchuck, none. What the? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? You don't know? I don't know how much a wood could chuck. You have no idea. Because <laughs> I bet JJ knows. Anyways. Fuck! Jake presented him with a uh, <laughs> oh, <wow>. uh, a contract. 
<laughs> when we flew to KSI in Vegas, it's the best it, contract ever. I go, I go. We need a contract. You don't just write a fucking fight contract, a fifty-page fight contract. Mm-hmm. So we like had a, a piece of paper that said like contract I wish on we it. Could pull it up. This is fifty. 50. Goes, what does it say? <laughs> it fifty fifty? Right? Now we shook on it. This is the uh, this is the equipment. Whatever this contract is uh, that Jake has, but yeah, and it, it looks like their beef. I want that fight to happen. I'm I'm uh, I'm here for it. Do you f- <laughs> I'd like that fight. I was gonna ask. A question. I think it will happen eventually. Yeah, I Jake thinks Jake thinks it'll happen this year. I. I I uh, I don't think it will. I think it'll happen next year, 2021, because also Keizai is doing um, music. And uh, fun fact, he's apparently releasing his album on May 22nd, the same day we were dropping Maverick Cloth. Mm. That's an interesting juxtaposition. Sh- I don't really have I don't really have many thoughts on any of this now because those are all my homies now. <laughs> the Sidemen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play video games with them and shit. But yeah, to be honest with you guys, I don't even like beef at all. But I hope I wish you guys good luck with all your Gross stuff. Beef. Huh? With with our stuff? So no, 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 just you know, which is all the fighting and the beef and stuff. I'm over here. I'm, like, I'm on, <laughs> on the yes, I'm man. on the max side, dude. No, no, no. Yeah, I, no, I, I'm just I'm just kidding. I mean, it's it's interesting to me, bro. It all it all is. It's like I don't know. I feel almost like uh, I feel almost like they might keep having that argument and like keeping people uh, entertained with this like back and forth like small talk shit. Well, somebody else is cooking up something that makes all of that look very. Very small. You know, how we'll see. Beef fighters, is just competition. Yeah, how often do fighters just yell at each other? That was actually what to... you call an alley oop, but you uh, guys yeah, yeah, cut my sure. friend off. I've act, I've a, I, sorry. Oh, I can't. I mean, there's no alley. We can't say anything. Well, right I know, now. but I mean, you know, we could at least start making it. little hints on Working shit. Working on it, hopefully. We're chopping seeds. Yeah. I, I'm actually kind of over the uh, sign the contract talk. Not just from Jake and KSI. <laughs> every every fighter I'd, currently is doing this. Yeah. Sign the contract. Stop ducking me. I usually Yo, say that to up. you, too. Shut up. <laughs> you, you say it to me because I hate fucking using DocuSign. But, like, dude, at, at what point do you just accept? These are these are fighters we're talking about. No one's ducking anyone. There's, like, a strategic way to, to go about your fight career if you're a legitimate fighter. But Jake's not ducking KSI. KSI's not ducking Jake. It probably just doesn't fit in their schedule Bro, it's biz- currently. It's business. People look at it like I think it's a smart way to market it as it as if like they're ducking to try to duck the fight. But JJ is going to wait. JJ is the champion. He's going to wait until it makes all the sense in the world. Here's then. here's why that's a problem. No, I know that, and we could say why Te- it's a problem. But at the end of the day, he's the one with the he's the one that has the trophy. He's the one with the belt, so he calls the shots on it. You know what but I'm even saying? If, you mean, even if yeah, he but, wasn't the champion, he could still say, "I'm not fighting you." That's, uh, that's that's true. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. And it just it's all it's all business thing. It's all it just has to make sense. It's all, what would you prefer? Which which line do you prefer? Do you prefer sign the contract or are you more a fan of release the contract? <laughs> <laughs> which one of those did you like? I, 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 I like the way Tifu said it when he said release the contract. Release the, release the fucking, fucking contract, contract phase. Phase. Release the fucking. But no, here, here's here's the problem with it. what I'm what I was saying was if, if I were Jake, if I were Jake, because he's still it's training every day. If I were Jake, I would take another fight. I would completely, because because similar to to my mentality with not saying KSI's name in any of my stuff, bro. If Jake doesn't fight KSI. Who the fuck is gonna fight KSI? Dog, no one, no one's, no one's gonna fight him. You well, there's have, no one else have, in the no, game. That's what I'm saying. A- you have you have two YouTubers who are crazy enough to to devote their life f- to becoming a full time boxer, and it's me and Jake. If you strip that away, bro. What about Deji? Like, like like hello, Jake. What about Deji? Jake's coming on the next episode, but. If you really wanted to put a punishment to him, stop. Ignore him. Like, ignore, get out. Find someone else to fight. Continue being the boxer you want to be and move on. That's what I'm doing. Else. That's what I'm doing. We we found someone. And Jake, <laughs> and Jake could find someone, too. It's just like love. It's just like falling in love. You could find someone that's perfect for you to get in the ring with. What about Deji? What about him? He's a fighter. I like a rematch. Yeah, but isn't he? Didn't he buy subs or something? Well, there's more beef. There's more beef to talk about. There's a lot of people out there saying that Deji's buying subs? buying uh, KSI's uh, subs. brother. I never knew that was a thing. I, you know, subscribers. I, I always knew followers, but not subscribers. I feel bad for I. Deji, Deji hits back at yeah. YouTuber subscriber botting accusations. So can you? Is that <laughs> people just buying everything now? Oh, see, I'm these don't make accept. me nervous. I don't accept. We, we don't value accept. your privacy. Hey, don't I, accept. I do not accept. deny though. Deny it. Just oh, takes just me away. Say, no, it sends you somewhere else. I'm not. I'm not oh, having I hate that. that site. It's because in the UK it's very serious if you if you do or not accept the cookies. They're like you want fucking cookies? 
And you're like, no, I don't want no, cookies. You don't, you don't, like, we're not you're going to you take cookies. the cookies yeah. or you're going to leave the site. So make a decision. You want to find out about the botting rumors about dead or not? <laughs> I really actually don't give a fuck, <laughs> to be honest with you. And I don't want your cookies. Because then I don't want your cookies either. I'm on a diet. None of the... I'm so Mike, sorry. you're not on a diet. <laughs> no, I'm not. And Guys, I, I've been trying to stop Mike from eating past eating 10 p.m. Food, every yeah, single food. night. I witness it. It's a problem. You, Why do you do that? Why do you work out also and do I that? I don't get it. That's even Mike more eats salads more. all day, and then at night, he Worked stuffs out. his face full of Oreos and cookies it's, and it's, s'mores it's, it's and bad. all these things. It's really bad. <laughs> I just it's, uh, it's a problem. It's a bad habit. And I, every night I see him, I say, hey, Mike, I just want to let you know that you're eating, and you know that eating right now, right before you go to bed, after you worked out and did all these great things for your health today, is not helping you. And he looks at me, deadpan, and he goes... Yeah, <laughs> because do you want to know why? He he's the equivalent of that website. He's like, do you want to eat the cookies? And I'm like, and I select yes, yes I, I do. do because I in this because in this situation, yes, of Deji. Because in this yes, in this situation, if I choose yes to the cookies, I don't get to see the bots of Deji. I get a warm, yummy cookie in my mouth, and they're delicious. <laughs> and I go to bed with my belly full. And you know what? Guess what? Here's guess fucking what. I already got a fucking chick. I got a great book. I got everything I fucking want. So you know what? I'm going to get this pot belly stomach. I'm going to run the dad bod portion of this fucking hemisphere. All right? Why don't you flip it around? Why don't you... I can't eat, flip, Jeff. Eat, I got broken legs. Eat the, I'm cookie, nine. eat the cookies in the morning and the salad in the water at night. That So that's a good there plan. Go. That's a great plan. You're absolutely right. I don't know what it is. And, and by the way, like we're sitting here and everyone's asking me this question, but everybody at home knows about the fucking the carbs at night. Everybody, it's the best. bro, are you kidding? It's me? the best. We're it's all great. acting. We're what, all acting what, innocent here. What he's not, what he's not pointing out is, you know, I'm, I've been next to you every night. You've been doing this, eating them cookies with. Yeah, he just doesn't. Well, because did well, you, you have, wait? Did you instruct him to tell you that? Because you instructed him, your girlfriend, to tell you not to eat at night. Not as well. like him particular, but he knows that it's important to me that I start pulling it together. COVID's gonna end. We're gonna have to get back to the beaches soon. I already got this terrible rash. Like that's, you know, and like, I want to pull it together. I don't want to look like a, uh, that man said a misplaced piece of lasagna. What did he call me? Sadly, I've read. Oh yeah. He said, he said, said, your body is shaped like a a lasagna. Your fat proportion outdoes the per capita income in third world countries. Oh God. That was fucked up. Yeah. But but, creative. Creative creative. and hopefully helps. Dude. I mean. What am I going to do, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fucking crying on the inside. Read somewhere where sugar is the most addictive drug there is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm really? an addict for Google cookies, it. dude. Google it. Ca- caffeine, caffeine's pretty gnarly. They said sugar number one. What? Number one addictive. I'm not, I'm not searching that. I'm looking at what else is going on as well. So just, I'm number? just saying, Mike. You know, no, 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 no. Coming from you. that world. That maybe bro, it's caffeine. Just, you know? I, can, I can speak on it. Ca- caffeine. I, um, I did not take a sip of coffee. To, until I was 23, probably. Nice. And yeah. now I drink it every morning. I love coffee. Mm. So that's like the you start what, drinking it and your body becomes dependent on it. You it know, is. you get headaches. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the quick rundown of it, the easiest way to answer it. I say a lot of things. I say I want abs and shit like that, dude, but like like I stopped smoking crack, dude. Okay, like I don't give a fuck if I eat cookies. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, dude. But you know, I'm gonna you eat have that the determination. Cookie. You could do the not eat it and eat and understand what the rest of my day de- the rest of my day looks like, bro. Like I'm going through, I'm killing it in every fucking vertical. We all are. Yeah. And I get to the end of the day, and I want a fucking cookie, dude. Let me eat my fucking cookie. All right. So right? How about you, you have go, one how cookie? About you go or run a race. And I have a lot right of cookies. Ha- having line, having a girlfriend helps. But every time what I go, mean helps. It makes it worse. Now no, I don't have to impress any chicks. I got a girlfriend that grabs no, my fat and says, You're so cuddly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Although I didn't know that. Ah, she's like, You're so oh, cute. She's telling, you, she's telling you to not eat, and then she's also telling you that you're cute. Yo, you're again, though, yeah. we're back. I'm back. Chest, yeah. chest, not checkers. Is Amar keeping Mike fat so other girls won't yes. pay yes. attention? Yes. Probably. Yes. Probably. Yes. That's a classic That's a smart girl. Yeah, she's, bro, she's the smartest, yes. dude, obviously. Because I know she schemes sometimes, and that that is a strategy I would employ. She's a scheme and schemer, bro. But bro, it always bro, works bro. out. But it always works out for me in the end. So I don't really, like. Oh, by the way, can we talk about traveling? She wants to go to Miami next week. Am I, can I go to Miami? Physically, you can. Oh no! Are you why so, would you do that? You're allowed. Why would you, why would you do it's that? It's been something that's asked to me. Hey, we've been stuck with the people. Beach, no, the beaches open? she's got some sort of agenda. What she wants to do? She there? wants to spend time with her boyfriend in Miami. There's a better place to spend time. No, she wants to go to a beach. Are there's, the beaches there's got beaches here in California. Yeah. She hates the West Coast beaches. She said not, they're dirty. No, not all of them. Go to Huntington. Go to uh, no. But listen, 
No matter what beach you tell me in the coast of California, the it, it's, it's not even the best. It's just accessible and it's 50 times better than California. Warmer, beautiful, I, crystal. I it's happen the best. to prefer California beaches because I like all the stuff that goes around them, the little taco shops where I go to stuff my face, like all that shit. <laughs> the surfing. But let's be honest, you, you, you go in ankles deep, you can't see your feet it's in scary. California yeah, water. It's, it's when you go to Miami, you at least can see a little bit more and then you go to the Grand Caymans and it keeps going from there. It's beautiful. And before you know it, you're, you could see through the water from 30,000 feet when the water's Mariana Trench level. I'd mm-hmm. be there if my girlfriend was pregnant. Congrats on Miami. that, by the way. It's coming up, eh, Jeff? You're mm-hmm. going to be a dad soon. July 4th. Uh, so how many months is that? I can't do math. Seven weeks. Seven what? weeks? Are you ready? As ready as I can be. Are you sure? Okay. Is, there, is there anything we can do know. now what to change I do? it? Jeff, what, what, what should I do? do? <laughs> I don't know. I do. You have four dudes. Danny, please help. She can't help you. <laughs> just been hiking with a uh, weighted vest lately. Have you just been, got it? Twenty five pounds. You you plan on your baby being twenty five pounds out the womb? Eventually. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he's starting heavy. You know, it's just not that bad. Yeah. Have you been reading books? My dad read parenting books before he had his babe. We just got a couple books. Yep. Her mom was like, "You got to read this book." We're like, "Oh God." So I'm telling you, what, would you would you surely YouTubes. you learn something? YouTube's. Coco Melon. Coco Melon. Do you, <laughs> do you want up any up? The- I feel like it's just you, you learn. On the job. It's not something you like. Yes, you practice for. Luckily, she's been around him for a lot. But it's just something where it's like, okay, what do I do in this moment? I'm going to be as present as possible and figure this out. Your kid comes to you. At what age? 12. He's fucked up, Jeff. In what way? Drunk. 12? Drunk. Whoa. What do you do? I think you wait for him to sober up and give him some water. Wrong, wrong answer. So, so no, what no, do you do? Wrong answer. No you repercussions? No consequences? At the moment, not. You, you, That's, you walk up to him and you say, let me talk to you about something, kid. Your, your cup's looking a little empty. You, you want a refill? <laughs> no, that, that, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Because he's 12. Because no, he's 12. 12. The real answer is you walk up to him and say, what's up, kid? Your cup's looking a little empty. So is mine. <laughs> Pour him up. Let's go. Let's get fucked up. Jesus, crazy. Y'all are I terrible. That's what my dad would do to me. I have not thought that far. Did you baby proof the house yet? Put little no. things in the plug? So he no. could still get at the hydrochloric I acid? I think that's like crawling <laughs> stage. This is like the baby just lays there. And I've heard it. I actually got some parenting advice from Greg Paul. Oh, that's While a on solid ranch. one. Just care, careful. Care, careful. Careful. On the ranch, careful. Well, you take tad bits and then you throw away some, and then you Our take some in. The, the tad bits are the combination of tidbits and tadpoles. Okay, <laughs> they're, they're brand new. Are they dad bits? Tad bits. Wow, wow. They're dad bits. Tidbits from a dad. Tidbits for dads. Tad bits. He gave some good ones. And I think that he's got some good parenting. Yes, right. What is an example? The example was he's like, don't feel bad if you don't have a major connection in the beginning. He's like with the takes, with the baby. It takes a while. No, the woman so is. He's like, yo, my, it's this baby and I just no, the woman, got no chemistry. Like, no, he goes. The woman is like, you know, has it there for nine months. It's you know, already attached. It's going to be attached forever. But he's like, it wasn't until like Logan or Jake made an actual reaction to something I said to them that recognized that we're on the same wavelength, and yo, that was when he's yo. like, yo, it changed forever. So he told this to one of his friends previous, and he was like. It happened, Greg. I called. Thank God you called and told me this because I literally would have thought like possibly I'm a bad dad or a parent. We, we, like, we, where the relationship starts to feel uh, reciprocated, mm-hmm. father son type, Real. not just guy baby. Correct. Because you're going to be guy baby for a while. That's what he said. I'm going to draw a crazy like, parallel here because I just had this happen in my relationship. She did something. Uh, first thing I was like, it. Uh, you know, I got a little salty about some Who's she? something she did. You, you, my, you call her by she? My girlfriend. Oh. Ah. There's some 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 things I don't fully exploit, you know? Nice. Anyways. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> exploit yeah, your life. So like, anyways, she, exploit you your life like the rest of us. Yeah, you can learn about it in the VIP section. <laughs> <laughs> it's Whoa. A full write-up. Whoa. That'd I'm going to exploit great. the shit out of my relationship in our Maverick VIP program. <laughs> That'd be great. That's actually good. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, all you have to do is subscribe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she did something. And for the first time, apparently, I showed her attention in a way of like, yo, I, I care about you and I'm fighting for you. And what you did like made me upset for the first time. Y- this may come as a surprise to you people, but sometimes I don't always show all of my emotions. <laughs> Boy. And, and apparently it, there was no uh, demonstration of true desire yet in, in our relationship. And mind you, it's fresh. It's mm-hmm. like two and a half weeks. Yep. And I expressed to her, I was like, hey, I, this is how I feel about that. 
I didn't really like it. I care for you. And uh, I, I would prefer if you just better communication was the solution here. But it made her feel really good about our relationship in general because there was a uh, there was it was an example of like truly how I feel about her when before there, I, I, there was none. And and so I told her, I was like, hey, I. I I don't want, I understand that like me, uh, you getting a reaction out of me in this way and me expressing my desire as a boyfriend to have you is nice, but let's not make this a thing where if I'm not giving you enough attention, do not lash out so you'll evoke a reaction that makes you feel good. And she goes, totally get it. Never would, but, but I'm glad you said it. And so maybe unlike you, Mike, we are very good at communicating. Yeah. But you, 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 you're. No, you're good at it. At you, what? Just communicating, communicating with, with, with your girl. Yeah, you guys oh. are just getting tiffs a lot. Yeah? Oh, yeah, we're tiffed out, dude. Sure. Like at at what it. point? Her name should be Tiffany. <laughs> I mean, I mean, our, the thing about ours is our, our, is our, our tiffs are... Uh, they're they're like an old bickering couple, you know what I'm saying? Like we're we're so locked uh. in now, like we've gotten to that point where we're so because we're over that like like mo- like whatever amount month hump, we're like a bickering old couple. Couple. Like she's it. like she's like. Bring me a coffee. I'm like, get your own fucking coffee. <laughs> and she's like, well, you, well, what the fuck? I bought you a billboard. And I'm like, well, fuck you. <laughs> and then sometimes she's like, well, you know what? Fuck you, then leave. And I'm like, all right, well, fuck you. I'm out. And then we're like, like eight hours goes by. She calls me. She's like, hey, hey, baby. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, what's up? I got, I got you that coffee. I know I, you probably still don't want it. Eight hours <laughs> cold. And she's like, and she's like, um, yeah. yeah. And I was gonna, I was gonna take the billboard down, but I, I, still, love, I still love you. And like, bro, we're, we're at that moment where we're because listen, the situation with our relationship is like we're locked into each other. You know what I'm saying? It's like she, I'm not, there's that. no other girls, yeah. there's no other guy. Like, it's just us. Does it feel so good? if we don't, does it feel yeah, good? yeah, it feels supportive, nice. Like if it doesn't work out with us, then that's a big thing because we we've put a lot into it, you know. And through some troubling times, through some troubling times, we've been up against a lot. You know what I'm saying? And and fucking cheating scandals and obviously her past and my past and all this bullshit. And to be here, like standing on top of the mountain, looking down at the trail of destruction that we've left behind, <laughs> you know, and all the coffees I didn't get. It feels good. Yeah. It feels good. Times are times are good. It's and uh, she's great in the content. She crushes it on Logan stuff. Fabulous. She crushes it on my Fabulous. channel. And they couldn't ask for her to be any better out. there. I, she's. I think for the, um, the launch of uh, Maverick on Friday... Cause the, the the video that I promoted his book in got eight point eight million views. Thumbnail, she's a, she's thumbnail a, I, and title was asking Lana Rhodes for ten thousand dollars. I I will say this, and I I think a lot of people watching this already know it, but I don't know that there's another girl in the atmosphere right now that has the fucking pull that she not does. a single one. It not is, even close. It is mind blowing. Like she has two. She gets two to three million views on her stories and. 1.6 million of those people will take an act, uh, the desired action. It's 50, it's 60, it's 70% conversion. I've never in my life as a brand marketer or influencer ever seen anything like it. It is mind blowing, dude. It's fat. It's fascinating. fascinating. I so I know, asked him, I would him, love I, to know the Kardashians numbers. You can see, uh, them. I mean, look at their, look at their, no, uh, uh, s- the some of them are stronger than the others. Fact that we're putting her in that level of let's see. Ratio, ratio wise, she's Lana, Lana's probably probably above, above them. It's amazing, but I asked Mike. I, I'm like, yo, we're dropping Maverick Friday. Can I clickbait your girlfriend? Because I know, <laughs> I know that video will get views. Like again, this shit's all marketing and like the video promoting his book got 8.8 8 million views. Crazy. That is insane. That's huge. That is insane. So I think we're gonna do a segment called her, her real names. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Her real name's right. Amara. And Matt came, Matt came up with this idea, actually. Mm-hmm. Brilliant idea. I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. <clears throat> We're going to introduce you guys to ASMR. It's amazing. Bro, amazing. Lana Rhodes doing ASMR. It's unfortunate because we can't, wow. can't call it ASM Lana. We're going to have to use her real name. <laughs> but I'll, I'll just, I'll just do, I'll call it like I made Lana Rhodes do ASMR. <laughs> I haven't even talked to her about this yet, but I asked Mike and he said she's cool with it. But So are you her pimp? Jeffrey. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> no, no, no. Jeffrey. Or her uh, business partner. B- b- manager, or partner. partner. Like, bro, it's just wild. It's just such a wild, uh, like, re- like I almost want to start writing the second book on this. Re- like, it's just crazy. Wow. It's just really interesting. Books now. 
All right, I'm not going to do that, guys. I'm not writing a book on relationships. I definitely can't. I'm not qualified to do that. Save what's really happening for your for the uh, for Entourage Two. Oh yeah, we're going to write that. That's going to be incredible. I can't fucking wait, dude. <sighs> Wild. Wild. We so, have this, so this, there's a lot of things behind Logan the scenes. Said that, that today's incident was a. Uh, Entourage to writing. Tell me it's not. Tell me it's not. Oh yeah, it's absolutely. Phenomenal. We have so many. Phen- we have this so this particular many. one though is phenomenal. Yeah. I stood on a chair when I said it. Man, I can't wait until a, a decade from now we can really talk about what goes on in this fucking insane world uh, that we live in. We're actually doing it. You're gonna be writing a vlog, but it's a blog. We're going backwards in the VIP section. Every oh. week you're gonna write a blog post. Oh, a blog post you say, huh? Hey, I got a quick little update by the way. Du- Duble Donis. Oh du- shit! Duble Dennis, Dublin Dones. Yep, he has uh, just just called out John Jones now. I mean, this is a very God, God, the yeah, shit. Yes, I know it's a very. That's s- where I put my foot down. I get it. I get it. <laughs> no, but it's, it's just another situation of six nine. Beat. He is he Trump, <laughs> Dylan Dan is six nine. Put him in a, a submarine and send him into the ocean because these three are master trolls. He <sighs> said that Dylan Dennis on Twitter. Dylan Dennis said. Uh, John Jones was talking about uh, people wanting to see him fall and Dylan Dan said shut up you twat I showed up at your gym and you hid under a cage for eight hours shut the fuck bro, up look at you bro, you are in no position to be saying these things to why John is, Jones why is Dobrik in a picture with him what? I think he, they're gonna no, fight he, he a fanboy Dylan, Dylan waits in line to get in pictures with the influencers and then posts them on his Instagram for <laughs> this, this, like, this is like waiting outside of a club type shit <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't boys you ain't cool get the fuck out. David looks oh. so scared. Update. Update. Uh, here we go. Bread Batch is back at it. They're taking a break from 6 9 I can't believe Shut it. Up. Just Nial, you? Nial is taking a break. What say? <laughs> Eddie Hearn. Eight minutes ago, this was posted. Eddie Hearn saying KSI versus Jake Paul on the back burners and no oh! discussion. No discussion. Oh, wait. About Tweeted? the fight at the moment. No. Wow. wow. Eddie Hurts says KSI v. Jake Paul on back burners and no discussion about fight at the moment. So I just the, said what so you said. So the contract said. is fake? Oh, no. So the contract is fake. <laughs> so you're telling me the contract Jake put in his Instagram story has no value and validity? Uh-oh. Impossible. Improbable. It's amazing what can Impeccable. transpire. Implausible. Impotent. James Charles has posted a video where he wonders why he's still single. You're just reading Bread yeah, Batch. Yeah, the Bread Batch. What a great Oh, look influencer. at that one. Bottom right corner. Oh, Logan Paul shows Maverick oh, clothing brand. He's watching me Awesome. Second. Yeah, Mac took the photos. <laughs> this is going to be big. It's a big fucking week. Thanks for listening to us here on Impostor. We love you. Subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, all right.